Today we're going to learn how to use a layer mask. If you've ever seen a picture like this where it's got a lot of color in it but they somehow make everything black and white except for one piece, it's because they're using a layer mask. So we're going to start off by opening this file, Girl with Pumpkin, and it is in your layer mask, let's see, slash pumpkin or dash pumpkin folder. Okay, you can see right now all we have is one layer. It's the background layer. So if we want to turn everything black and white, but leave one thing with color in it, we need to make a copy of this background layer. So what we're going to do, there's two ways, well, there's a bunch of ways to make a copy. The easiest way is to hold down Control on your keyboard and tap J. That'll make an exact copy of the layer you're on, Control J. Or you could drag this into the piece of paper down here. That's to make a new layer, so it makes another copy. Or you can go up to Layer, New, Layer via Copy, and that'll make another copy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag that to the trash can because I only want these two. Okay, for now I'm gonna turn off my background layer. To do that, I'm gonna click the eyeball beside background, and I'm gonna go to Layer 1. And what we wanna do is we wanna turn this black and white. So I'm gonna go to Edit, Nope, I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. And then I'll hit OK. OK, right now we don't have a layer mask. We just have a layer. So we're going to add a layer mask, and I'm going to tell you what it does. The layer mask is at the bottom of your layers palette, and it's got a square with a circle cut out of it. When you click on it, it adds a little layer, I mean a little mask, to the layer you're currently on. So it looks like a white piece of paper, but it's called a mask. And the way it works is a mask covers things up. Think about a regular mask. If you put it on your face, it covers you up. When the mask is white, it's not doing anything. When, it bl when it's black, it's covering things up. So to cover things up on this layer, we have to paint black on the layer mask. So we're going to make sure that the layer mask is selected and not the picture. And then we're going to choose our paintbrush. And then if you don't have black and white here, you're going to click these little squares, which are the default colors. And then to switch it from white to black, you're going to click this little arrow, which will switch the foreground and background color. Okay, so we've got our paintbrush. We've got it chosen black. And let's increase the size just a little bit. 75 and I want it to be a nice soft brush so that you can't tell the edges as much and then I'm just going to start painting black on the layer mask and you can tell what it's doing is it's deleting part of the picture or covering this part of the picture up. It doesn't delete it which is why we use layer masks instead of deleting things because if we make a mistake, look right here, you can tell where we've painted black. If we make a mistake like um, this, whoops, all I have to do is switch my colors and then paint it white again because black covers it up but white makes it show up so I'm just going to paint white to make it come back. Okay, I need to paint black again. I'm going to decrease my brush size. You're doing this with me. I'm going to zoom in. And the reason it's a checkerboard is because there's nothing underneath it at this point. The background layer is underneath it, but you can't see it because we've turned it off. Okay, I'm going to double click my hand. And right now, all it looks like is that we've covered up the pumpkin. And the thing that's showing through is nothing, just transparent. So if we turn this background layer back on, it's going to show up all of a sudden. Okay, so now we have our picture that has the orange pumpkin, and I would probably zoom in. And paint black with a smaller brush just to get right on the edges and, 
and make it look perfect. Okay, I'm going to show you another example. I want you to do both of these with me. So as soon as you're finished with this, you can just keep it up. Um, I'll walk around and look to make sure that you've got it completed. Okay, now you're going to open from the same folder um, the butterfly picture. I'll probably rename it. Alright, we're going to use a mask again, but not on the background layer. What we're going to do now is we're just going to add an adjustment layer. That's the half white, half gray circle down here. And we're going to click on that and go to solid color. And I want it to be black. So I'm hit OK. Alright, so we've got a black adjustment layer. All of your adjustment layers from here, anytime you click here, it's going to come with its own mask. So we're going to choose the mask. And remember, it's not covering anything up yet. It's not covering anything from this adjustment layer up. Now, if I painted on it with black, whatever's underneath is going to show up. Right? Let me undo that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to choose a cool brush. Go down. Pick out a brush down here at the bottom that you like. I'm just going to check and see how that one is. Alright, I'm going to need to make the size pretty big. That's too big. Let's make the size, let's see how 800 does. 800 is kind of cool. We'll see. All right, make sure that your brush is black, you're on your layer mask, and click one time. Now, there's too much of a feather on it. I picked the wrong kind of brush. I don't want a soft brush this time. All right, click there. 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 Now we have an artistic shot. Play around with it. If you don't like it, all you have to do is just paint it white again. So we can change the brush back to a normal brush and just paint our layer mask white again so that this color shows up. I forgot to change my color. Alright, let me know when you're finished.